customers. Uh, while we, we are very concerned about the increase, um, we expect to see increases. We just don't like to see a large increase at one time. And if you'll remember, I know we've said this multiple times, but our focus is on protecting the hospital and the resources. We can't overwhelm the hospital. And this number of 22 positive COVID patients is the highest number that they've had during this whole time um, that they've had hospitalized at one time. So we need to protect that resource and not overwhelm the hospital. So there's a lot of factors that we look at when we talk about that. And certainly we don't want to go backwards and we don't want to put restrictions on anybody or any business. And that's why it's so important for the community to take this serious, don't let your guard down. Uh, this pandemic is far from over and we have got to protect our resource because just like um, we've had a couple of these patients of the 23 new ones that have been in the hospital during this time, they have since been discharged. So my point is Jackson General those 22 patients in there are not Madison County residents. However, you know, they take patients from all around West Tennessee. So it's important for us not to just look at our numbers, but to look at what's going on in West Tennessee and how it affects our wonderful resource that we have in the hospital sitting in our county.